Hi, I'm Sherry Roman from Roman Agency, Inc. in Austin, Texas. Welcome to another segment of Insurance, Death, and Taxes. Today I'm going to give you eight tips to reduce your auto insurance. Now, we get questions on this every week. How can I lower my auto insurance payments? Well, the first tip would be to look at your deductibles and consider raising them. Now, I'm going to give you some numbers that I, I did this in some research. I didn't know this off the top of my head. If you raise your deductible from 250 to 500, okay, on average, you're going to save 20% on your auto insurance premium. If you raise it 250 to 1,000, you can save up to like 40%. It even said in some cases it could be higher. Now that's a big savings. But the important thing to think about is can you come up with the money if you were in an accident and it was your fault, can you come up with that deductible to get your car fixed? Now if you can't come up with $1,000, then you should stay with the lower deductibles. But it is important to know that raising your deductibles will absolutely decrease your insurance premium. Okay, tip number two, consider dropping comp and collision, okay? Full coverage, as people call it. Now, if you have a new car and you have a lender, you don't have that option. But if you have an older vehicle and it's not really worth that much money, you might consider doing that. I had a woman call my office today with a 1996 model vehicle and she had dropped her comp and collision and she wanted to add it back because she said it made her nervous to drive around without it. Now, in her case, it's her decision, okay? And we put it back on her policy. But personally, I would not recommend that. If you're driving a vehicle that's that old, you probably do not need full coverage on it. The third tip would be to buy a car that's cheap to insure. Now, I did some research on this. Guess what? The cheapest car to insure in 2012, and again, I didn't know this, is a minivan, believe it or not, okay? And another very inexpensive car to insure, supposedly, is a truck. Now, one reason for that is the trucks, uh, people don't get hurt as often in a truck, and, um, you know, they tend to be pretty safe. So the, that's something you might want to consider before you buy a new car. You might want to call your agent and say, hey, how much is my insurance going to go up if I do purchase this new vehicle? Okay, tip number four. Consider the cost of insurance before you make a move. Now, sometimes that's not always possible if you get a drop job transfer or something like that. But each zip code, each city has different insurance rates. So that's something you might want to check into before you move, just so you know how much more your insurance is gonna go up or maybe it could even go down. Tip number five, and this is one that most people do know, it's always cheaper to bundle your insurance. Now the company I represent, we give you a 26% discount on your homeowner policy if you have your auto policy with us. So it's almost always less expensive to have your auto in your home with the same insurance company. Even if you don't have a home, to have a renter policy and your auto policy together. That's gonna to be less expensive than just having one type of insurance with one insurance company. Tip number six. Now, this is one that people sometimes don't think about. It's very important to have good credit if you want good insurance rates. We don't get your credit score, we get an insurance score when we determine rates. But part of an insurance score is looking into people's credit. So if you don't have really good credit, unfortunately it will affect your insurance rates. Tip number seven, and this one seems kind of obvious, you should maintain a good driving record. I mean, if you have a lot of speeding tickets, you have a lot of claims, and claims are a little different, I guess, than your driving record, your insurance rates are gonna go up. I guess that's kind of an obvious one. My final tip for saving money on your insurance policy, tip number eight, is if you have teen drivers, you might consider spying on them. Now, 
That sounds funny, but believe it or not, insurance companies now are, some insurance companies are allowing you to put a device in your teen's car which will monitor how fast they're going, you know, whether they're texting, stuff like that. I think you can even have a camera or something like that in a GPS. Um, that does improve your rates, believe it or not, in some cases. And it's also a good idea to make sure that your teen takes a teen driving, driving safety course. And if they have good grades, a lot of insurance companies will give them a uh, discount for their good grades. Okay, those are my eight tips. And um, if you have any questions about those tips or any others, feel free to go to my website, send me an email, or just give me a call, and I'd be happy to talk to you in person. I'm Sherry Roman from Roman Agency, Inc., in Austin, Texas. Thank you.